Now, back to looking at these uh, these joysticks. So, Ben reckons it might be the, um, the address decoder is is interfering with the SD card or flooding the bus or something. So that's this 74LS138 here. So it's a 3 to 8 decoder. So desolder it and try a new one. Um, I could even socket it as well so I don't have to worry about... Uh, is it going that way? Yep, it goes on that way. I think. Yes, must go on that way. So I could, 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 could socket it. All right. First, let's see if I can find my spare. And then we'll suck it off. We'll desolder it. And um, just try a new one. All right. Turns out I've got two. I've got a SEM4 LS uh, 138 and a SEM4 HCT 138. So um, the HCT is the um, is a high speed CMOS uh, with TTL um, compatible inputs or outputs inputs outputs. So it can be mixed with SEM4 LS. The SEM4 HC can't, not reliably apparently, but the HCT can, um, and it's a lower power, thus lower heat. <laughs> I don't think it really makes much difference in here, but. I thought I'll just use the HCT. Well, if I'm going to stick a socket in, it doesn't really matter. I can swap them over. Okay, so the other thing I want to do is fix that up and fix this up. So I might pull these apart, desolder that so I can get some heat shrink on. But let's see if this if this fixes it first. So what I normally like to do is add some fresh solder and then try desoldering it. So uh, I won't bore you with that and I'll be back. Of course the other thing you can do if your chip is going to be a bit recalcitrant and you're not going to use it again just snip her out. I think I might do that if possible replace these these are two four seven three uh, capac uh, capacitors what are they four seven three they're all four seven three so I'm, I'm gonna replace those as well might as well replace this hundred microfarad um, electrolytic as well so let's see if I can get Maybe not. <laughs> All right, this, this is going to turn into a <laughs> major job. All right, let's get rid of the ceramics. I hate ceramics. Or well, ceramic disc capacitors. Let's just get rid of those. Oops, sorry. Close up my hand in 4K. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get rid of these. Then get rid of the chip. Yeah, getting there. All right, <laughs> after a bit of effort, I got the old chip off and the two capacitors. So I'll put the um, socket on now and the two capacitors and well, see if it makes any difference. Socket ready, I'm just gonna do, I haven't soldered it in yet. I'm just gonna do a quick test fit just to make sure. And I reckon, I reckon that's okay. Yep, all right. Solder that in. And the 473s, which I've got to get yet. Okay, time to test it. <laughs> now that I've got it in the right way round. I <laughs> wasn't happy the other way round. And... Hey, it's now booting. Very good. So I just want to um, stop saying um, Brett. I just want to replace a couple more capacitors on it. And I also want to try and 
fix that up with some glued heat shrink and also that bit there. So to do that, I'm gonna have to pull this apart, I think, and yeah, pull this apart, desolder this. Well, I to, I'm not sure what's inside here, actually. Give it a bit of a clean. Um, stop saying arm. Um. So I'll probably remove that. Anyway, that's what I want to do next. So yeah, so far, so good. Seems to have fixed it up nicely. And we're done. So I got rid of those nasty ceramic disc capacitors with these little MLCC ones. And a new electrolytic, 100 microfarads. So this, this side's all done. So I can package it up again and then look at the joystick end. All right. Pulling apart one of the actual joysticks. Okay, it's a bit springy. <laughs> um, right, okay. Okay, there's the bit spring there. Fair enough. Okie dokie. Miss the switches there. <clears throat> I guess I could give them a little spray. Um, still one more screw. Obviously holds this plastic, holds that bit of plastic in. Okay. Put that together. Right. Okay, so basically what I wanted to do was probably desolder this and then I'll be able to fit some um, heat shrink on to fix that there and maybe, yeah, so this looks like this slides as well. I'll stick some heat shrink on here to um, reinforce this, I think. So let me take a quick photo, so I know what colour goes where. And for these ones here, I guess maybe just give them a bit of a spray with some contact cleaner. See if that improves it. Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, got it desoldered. I sprayed some uh, Contact cleaner in there, see if that makes any difference. So now, right, so this slides off. Oh, yeah. So that slides off. <laughs> Will I get it back on again? All right, now I just need um, some glued heat shrink and that'll fix that up. Oh, oh there's a second one. Make sure we get all of them. All right, just the two. Okay. I've done one. Just doing the next one now. There it is. I just put it over the top like that. It's about in the middle there, and then just heat it up and. It's done, and we're done. So, yeah, there we go. I think it's, I think it's an improvement. Now we've just got to figure out what we're going to do for this uh, strain relief here. So this is the original. That's just a bit broken there. So I could either put this back on and then just stick some heat shrink over the top or I could just maybe toss it totally and stick some heat shrink here um, in place of it. Um, so yeah, let's see what I've got. Okay, so I'm just trying to get the 
cable back on so it's probably usually easiest to wrap some tape around the wires at the end but oh, I'm getting there They want to go everywhere <laughs> except where you want them to go just twist 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 come on almost there Yeah, it would have been better just putting a bit of tape around the end. So they get these little stragglers. We'll put some tape around the end. Okay, we've got it back on. Back to where it was. Which is about there. So I was thinking of maybe putting some 8mm. Maybe just stick some 8mm over it. Like reinforce it. Although having said that, I probably should have put the <laughs> I probably should have put this on first. That way I can just slide it that way. Um, let's see how we go. So probably maybe that much. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> so I did end up putting the heat shrink on first, then putting the um, strain relief on second, and then moving it up and then um, heating it up and then forming it whilst it cooled so and squeezing squeezing all the glue around so hopefully that should be a bit um, longer lasting and it just will just squeeze in we'll just squeeze in there I guess so hopefully that'll last a bit longer now I just need to solder, solder that back together and um, see how we are. Okay, I need to check out the photo now. Okay. There we go. I think that should last a little bit longer. That heat shrink on there. Plus we've got, oh that's blue tape. Plus we've got some heat shrink on here as well, glued heat shrink to protect where it was broken. So, let's see. Okay, so that's a repaired one. That's the one that uh, hasn't been repaired. All right, so let us see if they work okay power on yes yeah, didn't uh didn't work last time let's see how's that okay um what was one that used a joystick oh so you gotta type no joy if you want to use the uh the dick smith well, the original joysticks. Let's put that one aside. So why don't we try loading? Um, try Archie Ball. Archie Ball. Okay. That's the start. Don't know if this uses joysticks or not. No. Okay, so that one doesn't seem to use joysticks. Uh, what about... Uh, what was the other one I was trying? Dig out? Let's try dig out. Okay, yes, all right, there we go, left, down, all right, I might have to fix, have another look at this one, 
up. Okay, let's try the other joystick. That one go. Oh, okay, that one's going up. Okay, fire's working. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that was... Oh, what? Through the wall? Bitto. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, so that's, the I guess, the second joystick, maybe. I don't know. So, But this one seems to be working. So I'm going to have to pull this one apart tomorrow and fix up the strain relief. But... Ah, ah, oh, 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 no. Oh, no, Sonny. Oh, okay, here we go. Come on. Am I going to... Did I get him? Okay, got him. Um, yeah, so I have to fix up the other one tomorrow. Well, the one I'm using. Uh, ah! Anyway, so yeah, so joystick's working. All good. Um, I just, yeah, like I said, I've got to... I've got to fix up the strain relief on this second one. On Well, this is the first one, actually. So, but yeah, all good. All good now. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, that's, well, that's the end of Saturday. Time for a break.